Hey everybody, I uh, want to do a little update on the two pistols that I bought the other day. Got the sights in and I put them on and um, haven't really even had a chance to shoot these guns yet, but I'm sure they're going to be just as good as all the other Glocks that I've had. On the 34 that has the XO on it, um, I put the Warren Tactical Savignies on it and uh, see if I can get it to where you guys can see it here. Yeah, I don't want to focus in the front dot. Back it off here. You can see there it's got the fiber optic front in it. You have to install the fiber optic piece yourself when you get it, which ain't no problem. You you pull the front piece through a little bit, heat it up with like a lighter, and it turns it into like a little ball. You pull it through till it kind of melts and fits in the little slot. And then on the front, same way, you can see how it looks there. You you cut off about a, or leave about a sixteenth of an inch, and then you hit it with a lighter until it balls up and it melts right up into the hole. It's really slick. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, blacked out backs. You know, you could do the got a little like shelf on it where you could probably do a one-handed reload, which I don't know if you need to with this. It's more of a competition pistol, I guess. But uh, I put the red fiber optic piece in it because I tried the green out. Seems like in certain light situations the green's good, but a lot of them it kind of fades out where you can't see it. So I went with the red for right now. As you can see, just with the camera here, you know that sucker really glows, really stands out. And then on the 19, I put the Trigicon HDs on it, which I really, really, really like these sights. I got the orange on this on this time. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I like it. I got to get another set or two of them. I might get the yellow and see what it's like. I don't know which one you could see better. But you can see the dot on it. It's really really stands out. I, I like the XS sights they got out, the 24-7s, but I didn't like the rear sight the way it was made. I don't like just the, because it almost looks like a factory Glock sight the way it's just got the piece on it there. Well these come with the, they got the ledge on them for the one-handed reloads, and these sights are just, oh man, they're great. Uh, I got the idea, I had seen them anyways, but I seen them on pistols with the uh, range time with Corey and Erica. You can watch their channel, you know, it's a good shout out for them. They got a great channel. I like to watch a lot of their stuff. They got a lot of a lot of nice guns, a lot of different guns. But uh that's my nineteen. That's what I'm gonna carry every day right now. I have been carrying a car CW forty, which is a good small gun. But uh I kinda want a little more rounds or a little more round count in the pistol and the nineteen holds fifteen. It'll also take the the Glock seventeen mags. But, uh, you know, this one's a Gen 4 and this one's a Gen 3. I think I'm going to get some more Glocks. I used to have a lot of them. I got rid of them over time and got different stuff. I'm kind of going back to them. I've probably got about four or five of them right now. But I really like the, the Nibex coating that is on the slide of this thing. It's really nice. And the barrel, this one came this way, you know, factory done by WMD Arms, you know, Glock had them done by there, but you can send your slide and your barrel off to them and get it done, and it's not like there's going to be any difference, you know, that's all that Glock's done, is had the barrel and the slide done, nothing else done. Still got to take this one and do a sand down the sides of it a little bit and give it a full stipple job and uh, do the trigger cut on it, maybe radius it a little bit, uh, put the finger pads and stuff up here, stipple all that. As far as the 19, I, I probably won't stipple nothing considering I carry it uh, IWB all the time I don't want it rubbing up against my side and everything and I can get a fine grip off of it I'm not that worried about it the texture that's on it's pretty decent so I'm not going to worry about that any at all I've got a Galco uh, King Tuck that I'm using to carry it right now but I've also got a Bravo Concealment one of their Kydex IWB holsters should be here for too bad long um, Thinking also about getting JMP <coughs> JP rifles. They've got a one of the the mag extensions, one of the 
what would you want to call it? Kind of like the big funneled magwell that that the piece goes up into the the empty spot into the magwell there. It's got like a plug goes up in it and it gives you the flared magwell for speed reloads. I'm thinking about after I stipple it, putting a grip force adapter on it, maybe on both of them, and then putting the magwell on the 34, and then buying some of the Arandondo, uh, the big magazine. I guess I don't know if you call them extensions or whatever. It gives you so many more rounds. You know the the 17 round mag and that one. You know it's already a lot of rounds. You add that other one, I think it'll add five or six more to it. You get them in a three pack. Thinking about doing that to it. And uh, that's that's pretty much about it for right now. I get the stippling done. Some other stuff. I'll put another vid up updating them. Thanks.